today we know that the international media whether it be the print media the audio media the video media or the computer or the IT technology whether it be the international newspapers international magazines radio broadcast station websites or the television satellite channels we find on the international media there is virulent propaganda about Islam we find that the international media they are bombarding misinformation about Islam we find that there are various misconceptions about Islam that are spread on this international media and we find the international news channels they are mentioning war on terror or some of the international news channels they are saying war for peace actually what they are doing is not war for peace war on peace in other words war on the region of peace on Islam the international media as a whole today we find that they are projecting Islam as though it is a religion of terror it's a religion which does not want peace to prevail and unfortunately we Muslims unfortunately we aren't really replying to this international media and there are various techniques that are used by this international media to project Islam in a wrong way the first strategy used by the media to malign Islam is many a times they pick up the black sheep amongst the Muslim community and they portray as though they are exemplary Muslims indicating that Islam is a religion which encourages these wrong things we have to agree that there are black sheep in our community there are some Muslims who do illegal activity they pick up these selected Muslims and they portray on the media as though the exemplary Muslims giving a picture to the world that Islam is a religion which encourages these illegal activities these activities which are against humanity and all of us know today that the international media says that the Islamic madrasas should be banned why? because they produce human beings who cause terror who disrupt the peace of this world Alhamdulillah I know thousands of people human beings who have passed from Islamic madrasas I don't know a single who encourages and propagates the disruption of peace that does not mean that there will not be any Muslims who have passed from madrasa who may be propagating wrong things there may be a few surely it will be less than 1% but the media portrays these Muslims as though they are exemplary Muslims and as though a person who passes from madrasa is an exemplary student who disrupts peace in this world history tells us today that the human being that has killed the maximum number of human beings in this world who is he? who is the man who has killed the maximum human beings in this world? who is that person? who is he? Hitler you don't get an award for that it is common knowledge Hitler which madrasa did Hitler pass from? from which madrasa did Hitler graduate? and you go down history we know Mussolini he has killed thousands of human beings which madrasa did he pass from? we know today that the mafia the top drug dealers in the world which madrasa did they pass from? 
you take a list of all the top criminals in the world, not what the media portrays. Actually, if you have proof, what they've done is wrong. I'm not bothered what the media portrays, who is terrorist number one, etc., without any proof. But those who have been imprisoned, those who have been proved to be causing disharmony in this world, if you check the background, you will not even find 1%, 0.1% of them who have passed from Madrasa. They have passed from these universities, the one that even I have passed from. Fortunately, unfortunately, even I have passed from the normal formal education system. I have passed from Bombay. After doing my schooling, I have passed from medical college. Same, like a normal doctor. So this is how the media picks up black sheep of the community and portray as though they are exemplary Muslims. If a person wants to judge Islam, he should not judge Islam based on what individual Muslims do or what the Muslim society does. If you want to judge about the religion of Islam, you have to judge according to the authentic sources. And the authentic sources of Islam are the glorious Quran and the authentic say hadith of the last and final prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And I challenge anyone, any human being, to point out a single teaching from the Quran or the Sahih Hadith which is against humanity as a whole. Imagine you want to test how good a car is. And the latest car in the market, Mercedes 600 SEL, has been launched. And a person who does not know how to drive the car, he sits behind the steering wheel and he bangs up the car. Who will you blame? The car or the driver? Who will you blame? The car or the driver? But naturally the driver. If the driver does not know how to drive the car and he bangs up the car, you will not blame the car. If you want to judge how good the car is, you will have to look at the specification of the car. What is its pickup? What are the safety measures? What is the speed? What is the gear ratio? And then you can tell how good the car is. And really, if you want to have a test drive, you put behind the steering wheel an expert driver. Similarly, if you want to observe any Muslim regarding how good Islam is, the best example we have is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Don't look at me. Don't look at me how good Islam is. Don't look at the other Muslims or what the individual society does. Look at an expert driver or a person who knows how to follow Islam in totality. And that was the last and final message of Prophet Muhammad